completely agree. I completely agree. And in, in, in this case, it was one of those things when we finally got to the bottom of what was going on, it became so apparent that uh, it was just morally wrong. Um, it was inconsistent with just just about everything you, you, you could possibly think to believe about what this uh, society in this country is supposed to be about. So it was really a kind of a simple choice to resist in this case. But yeah, I mean, the interesting thing about it, and I'm sure you're not surprised or your your listeners are not surprised, that, you know, I've been emailed and, and, and spoken to uh, by so many different people and artists and designers out there that have really sort of, it was actually somewhat astonishing to me that how many people said, boy, man, that's, I could never do that. Or I, you know, boy, I'm just going to kind of wait and see what happens with, with your case and this kind of stuff. And I just really, uh, it was surprising to me because- it, The cowardice was surprising? Well, a little bit, I guess. You know, I I, I grew up in a way that I, this this sort of thing, that a question like this, and I'm not trying to be, I'm not naive about the consequences that could have happened. I guess I, I hear about that a lot. But, uh, you know, I, I was a little bit surprised that people were so reticent to sort of take a stand on this. Now, that's contrasted, of course, by the amazing support of other people. I mean, the amount of people that purchased this shirt, looking at the shirts and, and saying, you know what, I want to wear that as a, as a piece of civil disobedience. Uh, people that sent great emails, uh, you know, letters to the editor, all this kind exactly, of stuff. Exactly, but it's still shocking in the artist community that they're exactly. saying, oh, I'm worried about consequences. They better be worried about the consequence of us all self-muzzling ourselves. That will ensure a nightmare takeover because there's always corrupt people that want to take over the vacuum if good people do nothing. Don't they understand that? Don't people understand that? That if you give the field to whoever will take it, if good people think that being good is submitting to the biggest bully, what happens? Yeah, it, it, it's startling. It, it, you know, it's startling to, to think that many people do. And it's, you know, it, there, that's where a little bit of my, <laughs> that, that were some of the toughest times when I started to get some of those emails and things from other designers, artists, because in a, in a big way, I think that's, you know, if you're taking your art seriously and things like that, yeah, you're, you're really challenging sort of the world. You're, you're impressing upon the world uh, your sort of views and, and things and, and mixing yourself with the world and, and pushing back on things. So, you know, you know, art and design and all these things are all sort of a subjective thing, but I think it's really important to sort of, uh, to, to put your stamp on the world and, and, and something like this. Absolutely. And, and just like Shepard Ferry has yeah. had so many people kind of be influenced by him, the greatest form of flattery is imitation or, right. or augmentation. Uh, I see our artwork and your artwork uh, and, 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 and others being mirrored now and picked up by others and they're changing it and making it better or, 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 or a different. This right. is the essence of renaissance, the essence of true influence. And how do you defeat tyrants? You make art. Yeah. You make art. You you know one of my favorite things, which I could show you the poster. Uh, you know it's it's by uh, by Mark Twain. It says a reverence is the champion of liberty and its only defense. And and part of that reverence, part of that beauty in life, is to create and to create and to challenge the world around you and to build the world around you. And art is a huge part of that. And I think it's uh it's an amazing part of. There's so much going on in terms of the patriot movements and in terms of sure. uh, liberty and everything like that. But I I love to see that art is starting to take its place uh, in dealing with, uh, you know, freedom and liberty. So Well, Dan, Dan McCall, I, I've been meaning to do this, but I've been so busy. I've been meaning to call you and talk to you about maybe collaborating uh, on great. some things uh, in the future. LibertyManiacs.com, you're one of the best artists out there, and you really communicate That's things fun. in such a clear uh, and present way. God bless you, and we're glad you had this victory for all of us for free speech against the NSA. We're glad that uh, Ben Swan has also been helping you out as well. Uh, so, uh, Dan, I really look forward to talking to you again, brother. Anything else you'd like to add? Oh, just thanks so much for having me on. Uh, stop on by the site, anyone that wants to, to check out some of the, the new stuff that's coming out. We finally had the victory where the, the, the website that was uh, had problems with the government, we finally got to post uh, those new products today. Uh, the letters were all sent, so uh, we're happy to post those up. And uh, just check us out at libertymaniacs.com. And, and, uh, and, and see what you think. All right, thank you so much, Dan. Yeah, folks, don't forget, we're not allowed to sell Obama deception for six years on Google Shopping Cart. Uh, you know, people say, why use Google? Well, it has a big platform. We have a bunch of shopping carts. And you go there, you get more sales, you reach more people being on their system. Their search engines don't block you. So we were trying, and, and we had a shopping cart as we're selling stuff. We put it up there, and they said, this is racist because you criticize Obama, and, and they took our shopping cart away. And that was in the news. And uh, we've had other stuff taken from us. And, uh, you know, we we didn't get around to suing because we're so busy. 
Um, but this guy did, and we're glad he sued and won. But he had his website, his shopping cart, taken down because the government threatened his shopping cart. And he responded. I mean, that's why he had to sue. And this is the embargoes. Nazi Germany in 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, before they arrested people, they said, you're not allowed to you know, have your shop anymore. You're not allowed to sell stuff. First, they shut you down economically. And so that's why we stood with somebody who you would say puts out kind of libertarian, pro-freedom artwork and T-shirts that are in competition with us. I'm not in competition with that guy. I hope he sells 50 billion T-shirts. I want to win this thing, folks. We need to build our own market. We need to vote with our dollars, support liberty organizations, and we'll take over. Our ideas are superior. Go to InfoWarsStore.com. Get the Molon Lambe shirts that are in. Get the Come and Take It shirts. Get the Obamacare shirts. Get the Paul Revere shirts. Get the Obama Joker Tyrant shirts. Get the Women shirts. Get the In the TSA shirts. Uh, get the uh, Camouflage uh, Patriot Gadsden flag. The G.I. Joe shirt. Uh, get the Liberty or Death shirt. Get the Fluoride shirts. Get them all. InfoWarsStore.com. Let's go ahead and go to your phone calls. Mark's been holding a long time. I appreciate it. And then Dwayne, Gabe, and Colin, and then Captain America and others. Toll-free number, first-time callers, 800-259-9231. Let's go ahead and go to Mark in Texas. Mark, you're on the air. Thanks for holding. Uh, hey, Alex. How do you hear me just fine? Yes, sir. Okay, well, first I'd like to say I am an American citizen, and I do own a uh, big, scary assault weapon, and it has yet to kill anybody. Um, well, yeah, they just I'm had just 33 saying. killed in China by guys with knives. I mean, shouldn't we ban knives because they come out of their, their blocks at night and sneak out and hurt people? Uh, well, so I, I think guns are scarier, though. I agree. They, yeah, uh, yeah. I, think, mm -hmm. I think guns just look scarier, and so we, we need to get rid of scary But not things. in the hands of men in black uniforms in the government. That is not so scary. You don't, you don't trust your government. Who can you trust? I agree. <laughs> okay. Man, I'd like to make three points about gun control. Um, you know, first I want to say, uh, you know, that the, it clearly the error with gun control. Uh, second, what we can do about it. And third, what I am going to do about it. But I want to be clear. Um, there, I'm going to let you say this, but there is not an, and I know it's an error for the general public, but the establishment wants to disarm slaves, monopoly of force. And they don't mince words in their own UN unit or documents and things about that. They want to be the only ones with guns for total control. It's not, a, they know more guns means less crime. Go ahead. Well, sir, that's uh, that's what happened in World War II. Whenever the Japanese wanted to invade it, I don't remember who said it. Uh, was a Japanese uh, commander who said, uh, "If you invade America, there'd be a rifle behind uh, every blade of grass." Yeah, I think and, that was uh, Admiral Yamamoto. Own, and that's what our own government is afraid of, and they should be afraid. They should be afraid of their people. Um, now, what uh, what the first problem with uh, gun control is that we can we can regulate that state by state. If there's a federal law that regulates guns, we can override or nullify that within our state. I agree, and that's why the feds get on the news and say, there is no states' rights. States don't exist. And Obamacare lowers your costs, and Alex is not on the radio. And there's no drones, and uh, and Bill Clinton didn't have sex with that woman. Uh, is because they know they're completely illegitimate what they're doing. Hey, five years ago, the Supreme Court said Chicago, D.C., and, and, and New York had to let folks have guns. Hasn't happened because they're lawless crooks running those cities. Well, uh, there's plenty of states that are waking up and actually nullifying and overturning uh, uh, laws past, present, and future. Uh, in Texas, of course, they're going to nullify laws after a certain date. In some states, uh, they're going to nullify all laws that violate that, uh, that right, uh, past, present, and future. No, I know. Um, Liberty is rising. It's a beautiful thing. That's why all the kleptocrats and statists are running around like... Have you ever sprayed cockroaches? And like, I've done exterminating a little bit here and there. And you go into some horrible house, there's like all these cockroaches behind the wall. And you spray them, and they run around all wild as they die with the poison. And that's what's happening. Right, they're they're running around with their heads cut off. Um, you know where they well, live, though. I, they all run to Hillary and upper leg, and then right into there. That's where well, they. What I think that, no, no, I, I mean, I mean, I mean, under under her dress, they live in her dress. I'm sorry, and then and then they roast in there and turn into to Nutella, and it makes. I'm sorry, caller. I gotta go. Good points. Just absolutely no censorship here. Obviously, no teleprompters. This is GCN, the Genesis Communications Radio Network. 
Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to mypatriotsupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. Mypatriotsupply.com slash Alex.